What's going on guys, Mastar here, and today we're gonna to be speed drawing Omni Gogeta. I still haven't decided if I wanna put these markings all over his body. It might just be a little bit too much. I kinda of like the clean version here. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. It's actually would save me a lot of time to not have to draw all these markings all over his body, but at the same time, it does kinda of give him this unique godly look. So let me know what you guys think. Today I am gonna draw this on the brand new Artisol 16 inch Pro tablet that they just sent me for review. I know what you guys are thinking, Master, why do you need so many tablets? I have a problem, okay? Right now they're doing a pre-sale for this tablet. It's 30% off, so normally it's $379. Right now it's $284. It has a 90% Adobe RGB, eight shortcut keys with a RGB dial wheel there, which is kind of cool. A unique USB connect that keeps your wires out of the way. And then 60 degrees of tilt. It's a full HD resolution monitor. It has over 8,000 levels of pressure sensitivity, lamination, and the stand is included. It's very, very well built. And I actually put this on top of my main driver, my 22 inch tablet. And the bezels are so thin on this that it's almost the same size as my 22 inch tablet at a fraction of the weight. Now you don't have to charge the pen, but this pen is pure plastic. There's not even a grip on it, which I really don't like. Like it definitely needs a grip for long-term use and the other thing is when it has some sort of rattle behind it like there feels like there's something loose inside of the pen the tablet itself is incredibly well built and very sturdy with smooth edges but the pen is i think the weakest point so it has two layers of protective film on it, the one that just is, comes in the packaging. And then if you tuck your fingernail really deep under the screen, you can pull off this anti-glare film, which I usually do. But I think for this tablet, I actually suggest keeping that on. I, I actually like the surface of the tablet before I peeled that off. It didn't really affect me too much. Like some tablets like Huion, their plastic is so thick that it feels like you're squishing down your pen into like gel as you're drawing in it. I don't like that. But this one, I couldn't even tell that there was a screen on it until I really dug my fingernail deep under that and pulled it off. And when I did, I found that this glass like really needed to be broken in. Like I have to use it a lot and kind of smooth it out because it's like fresh, like sticky glass almost. Like when you move your pen on it, it almost like squeals. So it definitely needs some breaking in. My suggestion, just leave that, that illumination film on. So right now I'm doing the sketch for Omni Gogeta in Clip Studio Paint. This is the best program there is in my opinion for sketching. I'm still not very familiar on how to do like the full coloring and full image with everything in it uh, using Clip Studio Paint. For that, I'm gonna switch over to Adobe Animate to do the line work and the coloring. But it's a pretty standard 16 inch tablet experience. The express keys are nice. The tilt is nice. The having the cords out of the way is really nice. Like you only need the one USB plug and you just plug that into your laptop and you're ready to go, which is super convenient. You don't even need to plug it into the wall outlet. The software seems really good and reliable from my first use on it. So that's a benefit. Sometimes these tablets have really bad driver errors and like you just can't even get them to start working. This one, I didn't seem to have a problem. Now, my main praise for the 22 inch Artisol tablet, which I tested before, I'll put a link for that in the description if you wanna take a look at my review for the 22 incher from the same company. The main praise I had was that the responsiveness of the pen was absolutely out of this world. Like the second you just gently touched the pen onto the tablet, it would know that you're trying to draw and it would start inking. Sometimes with these tablets, you have to push a little bit harder than usual. And the thing about this one is I didn't feel the same level of responsiveness on their 16 incher that I did on the 22 incher. And I'm wondering what exactly the deal was with that. So sometimes I would start drawing and no line would be made, which is kind of frustrating actually. And sometimes when I would try and click and drag or click and move a line or an object, it just wasn't registering. But that was all happening in Adobe Animate. I didn't seem to have any problems in Clip Studio Paint. And as we know, Adobe Animate is a very buggy, glitchy program, and it's really, really bad for drawing. But Clip Studio Paint, I had absolutely no problem using this tablet. So keep in mind your software choice as well. 
For some reason, Artisol tablets don't seem to work very well in Adobe Animate. I don't know why. There's another issue. It's the same exact issue I had with the 22 inch where it's, I'll show you guys in a minute. Um, but let's first finish this Omni Gogeta sketch and then we're gonna move this over to Adobe Animate, which I'm in now. And I'm starting off with just the regular line tool, but you can see that like, as I'm trying to even just connect the lines, it's it's really not being that responsive. There's some some gaps. Apps. It's not like registering that I, those lines should be connected by how quickly I lifted my pen and put it back down. On my main driver, I don't really have that issue. But for some reason, in Adobe Animate, using Artisol tablets, I'm having this issue. And I really don't know what it is, but it does seem to be something that they could fix with a software update. So that's a benefit. Whatever this kink is, they tried to figure it out the last review I had, and they said they couldn't replicate the problem. So maybe it's user specific, maybe I'm the only one having this issue, but it's something to at least keep in mind. Other than that, I had no problems with anything else tablet related. And as I'm getting into the more nitty gritty details, I was definitely struggling a little bit in terms of just consistency and detail. I started to get a little bit frustrated and just kind of zoomed out and was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to do the raw line work here with the pen. And then once it's all messy, I'll clean it up later using my mouse and, you know, smooth it out and stuff like that, which I end up doing later. Also the top left express key there is for undo. And sometimes when I would press that, it would undo twice. So I don't know why it was like double clicking, but that's another issue. It happened more than once. Now it could just be because I'm used to using a very large 22 inch tablet, but again, I'm having these problems with the detail. Now in Adobe Animate, in order to get really crisp detail because the drawing software is so bad, you have to zoom like way in to like 400 to even 800% most of the time. But here I think I'm at 100, 200 and just struggling. And then, okay, so let me talk about these knots. This is the exact same issue that I had with the 22 inch tablet that anytime I I would pull my pen off of the tablet, it would create this little knot at the end. And so I was like, what is going on here? Is this just Adobe Animate? And yes, I went back into Clip Studio and just tested it, pulling my pen off to see if it would make any difference. And there's no knots. So it's definitely an Adobe Animate specific problem. Don't know what the deal is with that. Also, just in terms of tablet size, 16 inch is pretty good. It's probably good enough for most people. But for me, the bigger the tablet, the better. It just seems to be easier to get into the nitty gritty details. You have more surface area to work and to draw. But I know a few of my friends like Marimo and Audi, I think they both use 13 inch tablets and they're absolutely amazing. So it's probably just user specific or maybe I'm just used to having a bigger tablet. But in my opinion, bigger really is better in this case because I'm just not very comfortable drawing on a tablet this small. It means you have to zoom in more and move the map around a lot more, which actually causes more work. It slows down your workflow a little bit. But at the same time, a smaller tablet definitely has its own benefits like there's no power cord it's very lightweight it's portable so it has its benefits but if you're for a main workstation I think you should definitely go for the bigger tablet in my opinion and bigger tablets are also more expensive though so you have to keep in mind your budget and this tablet at just $284 is extremely inexpensive for similar tablets in the industry, they're usually between three to $400. So this may even possibly be the, the least expensive 16 inch that's out there. So here's the finished rough line work that I got from the tablet. And as you can see, it definitely looks kind of sloppy. I mean, really sloppy. I got very frustrated and I think visibly, especially with all these extra knots and little lines coming off everywhere. So I moved it over to the computer. I used my mouse for corrections with the line tool and now it looks a lot better and cleaner. But I almost always do that anyways to get some of the really sharp and nice lines. There's just sometimes you just simply can't do it with just your pen and you need to use the tools provided to you in the program here, adding the first base color on top and then the different line separation for the different shades that are going to go in here. Finally, adding in those shades to get a much better, cleaner image. And then finally with After Effects, doing the compositing and the filter to give that crispy, juicy image. And then ultimately with the effects. 
So it's still possible to get a really nice, cool looking image like this using the tablet. It just required a little bit more work. It's definitely not one of the favorite tablets that I've ever used. The pen really needs a lot of work. They definitely missed the mark on that one. They definitely hit the mark on the build quality of the tablet. It's super sleek and professional looking, but at the same time, the build quality isn't as important as how well it works within the programs that you use to draw and animate. You know, it worked well in Clip Studio, but Adobe Animate, I just pretty much could not use this tablet for squat. They have a lot of sales going on right now, so they asked me to put those links in the description if you guys are interested in taking a look. And I'm also putting this wallpaper on my Twitter, at Mastar Media, if you guys wanna download it and put it as your computer wallpaper. I'm Mastar signing off. I'll see you guys in the next video. Awari da.